hello and welcome to the second installment of Channel Puff Paints. Now I've taken the most popular suggestions from the comments section of the previous video and put them onto a spin wheel, so let's see what we're drawing today. Okay, so awkward fact, I've kind of already done this with Batman in this really stupid video regarding the Gotham Batsuit, but hey, we can do a different take. Maybe it'll be even more challenging. Be sure to give me further suggestions in the comment section below. It doesn't have to be exclusively a matter of redesigning things. I can just draw whatever you want me to draw, basically. It can be a superhero, it can be a film character, it can be a book character, it could be a YouTuber even, provided that everybody's a good sport and willing to laugh at themselves. So yeah, just go nuts with your suggestions. This is not exclusively about redesigning existing characters. It's just a painting show. Feel free to get really descriptive with your requests as well. As usual, you can participate in this as well. The rules for this Batman design challenge are that it cannot pull any inspiration from any existing comic book or movie take on Batman. It's got to be completely original as if you are designing this character for the very first time. Rule number two, it has to be done on the most budget software you possibly can, or it can be like paper and pencils or paints or whatever. Just no specialist tools like Adobe Photoshop. Before we get stuck in, let's take a look at some of the entries to the previous Design a New Spider-Man challenge. Please be advised, I received a ton of entries and I've looked at all of them and they're all great in their own very special ways. So I've just narrowed it down to five entries. So first we have what was the very first entry from Lionel Mena. That's the very first entry into any of these ever, so good job. That is a first that deserves some commentation. I mean, not like first comment, I mean, who cares about that? What a fucking loser, right? Really cool design. Like the neon blue stuff going on. I like the little hatch in the mask where you can see his hair. I like the goggles. All round great design. Next up, we have Chad Arachnid Zorro by Joel Martinez and really love this design. Really funny title. Really fun mashup. Good stuff. Then we've got Modi Stark Spider-Man with his, with his legitimate spider legs. He's He's genuinely quite frightening. It's got a lot of charm, love the logo, just great stuff. Then we got Nebulad Spider-Man design, which is, there's, there's nothing sexual about this at all, is there? Nah, this definitely wouldn't be even remotely out of place in a children's comic. It's good stuff. Wolfboy, your boy has submitted Spider-Man 3.0, a very sort of urban sort of hoodie take on Spider-Man. Definitely seeing some inspiration from other Spider-Man designs in there, but it's too good not to feature. Love the way this one looks. And finally, correct me if I'm wrong, this this can't have been drawn on paint. This is, this is very advanced looking. So I don't, I, I don't even know if this is part of the challenge, but hey, I'm gonna feature it anyway because it just looks really cool. This is the Silver Spider by, well, uh, the only name I have for this one is Silver Spider, but still, it's, it's awesome. Great job to everyone who got featured. Great job to everybody who participated. Don't be disheartened. It's, you know, I just had to whittle it down to a small enough number because otherwise it would just be way too long. But great, awesome. I'm thrilled to see people actually really participated in this. So without further ado, the new bat suit. What I'm going to do is take inspiration from what an actual bat looks like. They're these sort of little, little wholesome looking guys. Going to give him some sort of a furry texture up top there. Could be his hair for all we know. Because uh, bats have little round heads and they've got this sort of thing going on. Um, is he going to have an opening at the mouth is what I'm pondering right now. Uh, I'm not sure. But, like, yeah, so there's this. And, okay, so he's going to have big eye holes where, like, a bat's eyes would be, I guess. Which he'll see out of. So those are where his eyes will be, just to display that these are his eyes. And, um, you know what? Let's, let's keep ourselves free for him to have kind of a mouth hole. We'll make it a mouth and nose hole so it's not like the comics. So here's his nose. And here's his little mouth. Um, so yeah, there's there's where his head is. Uh, just make this evident that these are ears. So it's got a sort of ear recess that a bat has. There we go. There we go. Looking pretty artistic. Oh, want to make that symmetrical. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's his sort of head. And bats have these very sort of weird arms going on. 
So we're going to make it kind of canon that he's got weird arms. And these are his fists, I guess. Um, yep, that's that'll be his fist. And that's his weird looking black arm kind of deal he's got going on. Um, give him a little sort of a, a lower bit here so that can connect onto the arm like so. And yeah, so another... We'll do a straight arm for this one. There we go. We got his little mitts. Just to kind of show off how he works with his, not cape, but he's got a different kind of bat attire. Um, and yeah, because bats are quite thin and spindly, we figured we'll think outside the box for this Batman and not go quite down the he's so ripped route and instead do something a bit more skinny. So in fact, what we're going to do is make him really skinny and have his ribs literally showing through this costume. Typically, there is a bat logo on his chest, but we're not going to do that. We're instead going to give him a little tuft of fur on his chest. There we go. Um, and he's going to be very thin. Very, very thin. Now, of course, what would Batman be without his gadgets? So, what we're going to do is rather than give him a utility belt, we're going to give him cargo military pants with lots of pouches for where he could keep things like his his batarangs and his grappling hook and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you know, just because you know he's gonna he's gonna need he's gonna need all that. So, like. Again, other side, another big pouch he's got. There we go. And there we go. I also gotta give him that there, just to accentuate his sort of leanness that, that the Batman would have. And here is where we're gonna show he doesn't have a cape, but he has bat wings. So this is, yeah, this is where it becomes really apparent that he is indeed a bat man. He's Batman. So, yeah, those are his wings. And to sort of, instead of have, like, him wearing shorts over his trousers, we're going to make sure that these are more cargo short looking than, uh, than straight up cargo pants, if you get me. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to have his little legs... And what we're going to do is have him have these sort of talons for feet instead of the traditional Batman boots. Like, the idea is that this could all still be a costume, but, like, there's, like, a human being in there. So he's not Man-Bat, because that wouldn't be very original. You know, like, the whole point of this is it doesn't take inspiration from anything else pre-existing, so we can't just make Man-Bat too. Um... But yeah, there's there's his little talon toes. Uh, let's give him little little sweatbands around his little legs and his little hands, just because like when you're fighting crime out in this mostly latex costume, I'd imagine it'd be mostly latex with a little bit of fur just to keep him warm. Um, like you might sweat, so he's got sweatbands. So there we go. There's his sweatbands. Um, let's add a bit more fur to his back as well, just. Uh, there we go. So the first sections, like most bats, will be brown. And the skin sections will be a dark grey. And this will be brown. Actually, no, grey's already on the bat suit, so we're going to use a different kind of brown for the skin sections. There we go. That's a bit better. Because, again, we want to steer clear of the commonly done bat tropes. Um, I think the wings will need to be grey. There's just no getting away from that. Unless we make them mauve. Yeah, that works. His hands, again, will be the same color as the rest of his body. Um, there we have his skin under there. And uh, so what color will the cargo pants be? They will be sort of a green, sort of a camouflage -y kind of color. So like that. There we go. There we go. There we go. And his sweatbands will be... They'll be in support of breast cancer. Fuck it. We'll make them pink. 
in support of like the breast cancer um fund rather he's not he's not an awful person like that and yeah since batman's toenails have never been depicted as gray we'll make them gray uh zoom out a little bit just make him more of a manageable size uh, uh there we go that's a bit better um and then of course you've got to have something for him to be standing on let's make it wait that's gray fuck that make it a um a rooftop of sorts we have this here more rooftop and more rooftop crop it in to a nice 16 9 aspect ratio 16 9 not 69 don't get excited and uh yeah so we're gonna crop that that's a little less than 69 but fuck it and obviously you got to have that gotham city skyline behind him you know just lots and lots of buildings lots and buildings buildings and buildings so these will be black i guess because they're in the distance they're very dark this will be gray and this will be red sky because of that sort of bruce tim aesthetic and of course we got to add the logo so the logo will be batman protector of gotham there we go so yeah that there is my brand new take on batman yeah i hope you like it well what do you guys think comment below and discuss and as always if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it hit subscribe hit the like button and in the description below is the link tree where you can help support this channel because god knows i really need it i just did my taxes today and that was a harrowing event anyways forget about that forget about all that noise thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day